Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. How are you all? This is your chemistry teacher Miss Sobia here. Students of 10th class, this is your first lecture of chemistry. So, first chapter is about the chemical equilibrium. In this chapter you will learn about the chemical equilibrium, how chemical reactions takes place. So the chapter is about chemical equilibrium, how reactions takes place, law of mass of action, forward reaction, backward reaction, reversible and irreversible reactions. So today we will just go through the introduction and the types of reactions. So you have to watch this video very carefully. So objective is students will be able to learn about introduction to chemical equilibrium, reversible reaction and irreversible reaction and dynamic equilibrium. This is the objective of today's lecture. Topics which we will read in this chapter is Introduction to chemical equilibrium, reversible reaction and irreversible reaction, dynamics equilibrium, self-assessment which is related to the forward and backward reactions. So students you have to watch this video very carefully and learn all the concepts from your book thoroughly. First we will introduction. In a a chemical equilibrium is a which all reactants have been converted into the products. You know, in a chemical reaction, two things combine, one combined converted into products. So, a chemical reaction is equilibrium when concentration of reactant and products are constant. Equilibrium, the word equilibrium, you heard word equilibrium in which when the concentration of reactants and products are equal or when forward reaction and the rate of reverse reaction are equal. So you have to first of all revise that what is a chemical equilibrium. Chemical equilibrium means when the reaction is at constant rate, when the concentration of rate of reaction, reactants and products are the same. First I will give you an example. So here when reactants converted into the products, this is known as chemical equilibrium. For example, reactant A plus B converted to form product C plus D. A chemical equilibrium where both react concentration of reactant and products are same. And the chemical reaction, it is important in chemical industries and commercial production of ammonia, sulfuric acid. So it is very important to study the chemical equilibrium that what conditions make the chemical equilibrium when the rate of forward reaction and rate of backward direction reactions remain constant or same this is known as chemical equilibrium next is as you know that water it is converted when provided into heat it evaporate liquid is converted into vapors and vapors again condenses back to liquid so such reaction is called a rever reversible reaction mean it take both take place in both directions. Liquid change into vapor and vapor again come back to liquid. So types of chemical reactions, there are two types of chemical reactions. Some reactions are called reversible and some are irreversible. Reversible reactions as the name indicate, it is a chemical type of chemical reactions when the products can react back to form the products. So it is represented by double sided arrow as shown in figure it mean it can be reversed back reactants converted into products and products again converted back to the react just like liquid change into vapors and vapors condense back to the liquid so this is known as reversible reactions which take place in the both reactions and double sided arrow is indicated or used for reversible reactions next is Second is a reversible reaction. So a chemical reaction which takes place only one direction is known as a reversible reaction. Sometimes reaction takes place 
in only one direction so this type of reaction is known as irreversible reactions it goes on until it at least one reactant is used up. for example reaction between sodium and water react to form sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas means sodium na react with h2o water to form naoh and h2 so one arrow is shown it mean react it is, cannot be reversed back only reactants converted into products but products cannot be reversed back converted so such reaction is known as irreversible reaction which take place only in one direction so in your book definition is given to you a reaction in which products can react to form to, together to form the again reactant such reaction is known as reversible reactions mean which take place in the both directions or reaction which proceed in forward direction as well as in reverse direction under the same conditions is known as reversible reactions and these reactions they never go to completion mean they never completed they keep on changing from reactant to re product and product back to reactants forward reaction to reverse backward direction and as if for irreversible reversible reaction double arrowhead is shown for example so2 react with oxygen sulfur dioxide uh, under the pressure 200 atmospheric pressure 450 degree celsius temperature it is converted to sulfur trioxide and the catalyst which we use are v2o5 vanadium pentoxide similarly nitrogen will hydrogen to form no2 so here is the comparison is given between reversible and irreversible reaction for reversible it can be reversed under suitable conditions and irreversible cannot be reversed reversible both forward and backward reactions take place but it in irreversible it is unidirectional it only proceed to forward reactions and reversible it attain equilibrium and for irreversible it can equilibrium cannot be attained and reversible the reactants cannot be converted completely into products irreversible the reactants are completely converted into products and reversible is slow while irreversible is fast so students you have to learn the definition of reversible reaction irreversible reactions along with the examples and the difference between reversible and irreversible reaction i am giving you another example just like sulfur dioxide react with oxygen to form so3 it mean it is a reversible reaction it mean it is converted back so here the forward reaction is sulfur dioxide react with oxygen to form so3 this is known as forward reaction while backward reaction is so3 to so3 converted back to so2 plus o2 so you have to clear the concept that which is the forward reaction mean which go forward direction and backward direction it is irreversible so such reactions takes place in both directions so this is known as reversible reactions again a paragraph is given to you here we take concentration along x axis and time along y axis you see that concentration of sulfur trioxide is very zero at the start of reaction while sulfur dioxide and oxygen concentration is high as the reaction proceeds the concentration of sulfur dioxide and oxygen slow down while so3 was zero at and later on it gets high in short we can in start we can see that concentration of sulfur trioxide was zero a concentration of oxygen and sulfur dioxide was high as the reaction proceeds the rate of concentration of reactants start decreasing mean oxygen and sulfur dioxide start decreasing while rate of product which is so3 it start increasing so reactants they start in reactants were high at the start of the reaction but as the reaction proceed the rate of reactants start decreasing okay you can understand that when the reactions proceed the rate of reactants start decreases and rate of product start increasing so 
concentration of sulfur dioxide is high at the end of the reaction and re concentration of oxygen in SO2 which were the reactants they become decreases you can learn all these things in detail from your book thoroughly so student this is end of your today's lecture you have to learn all these concepts that what is the introduction of chemical equilibrium what is the chemical equilibrium what is reversible reaction irreversible reaction how we can represent it difference between reversible and irreversible reaction what is the chemical equilibrium when the rate of forward reaction is equal to rate of backward direction what are forward reactions what are backward reactions what is the difference between them and what how we can represent them in paragraph so students you have to learn all these things in detail if you have any question you can ask thank you